Hey, this is Larry Powell, Circle P Marketing. I just wanted to get this quick video over to you outlining how you can generate more traffic for your business and set yourself up for 2020. Um, first off, I just want to apologize for the delay in getting this over to you. I've had a very sick kid the last few days, um, so I would have had this over to you this weekend, um, but he's been running super high fevers, and so it's, everything's got kind of delayed just a little bit. Um, so first off, I wanted to show you a website I built for a drywall contractor here out of Eugene, Oregon. Uh, this website's uh, second place right now, um, or second spot in Google search, um, and this guy gets about 10 jobs closed a month um, off of this website, um, so there's definitely, I, I, I just wanted to show you that I do know what I'm doing for the drywall niche, um, but another thing I wanted to show you is just because I know you don't have a website, um, so I wanted to point some stuff out to you as far as for the website that you can do that'll really help with conversions once people are getting to your website. Um, and also help with the rankings to get you up into that top spot. Um, so first off, click to call buttons are super important. Um, people are doing mobile search so often these days that when they when they click on these buttons, um, it, it is very important that they're able to just connect with your business because nobody wants to have to write down these numbers or try to remember them and type them into their phone. Um, so making those click to calls is very important. Um, another thing that will really help with your conversions once people are getting to your website is having your contact form up here front and center um, like 80 percent of the time people aren't even going to be scrolling down past probably right about here on your website um, so having that contact form up here on top where people can get a hold of you um, and, and you know get you out there to give them a bid and whatever their job is um, is very important just because people are looking for whoever can get out there the fastest and give them the best price um, the last thing i wanted to talk to you about with this website is the amount of content you put on your homepage. Um, so there was a recent study done by Google that looked at over a million different websites across multiple niches. And what they found from this study is all the top ranked sites all had at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on this homepage. Um, and there's a lot of different stuff you can do with this content. Talk about the different services you offer as far as taping drywall, um, if you do new construction, um, you know, home modernization, home remodel. There's a lot of different ways you can get this content on here, um, but they are very important for your rankings and getting you into that top spot. Looking at keywords, um, there wasn't a lot of search traffic in your area, um, but you know, I have similar numbers to this where, where I was at in Eugene, Oregon. Um, and again, that guy closes 10 jobs a month. Then I know that Cleveland is a much higher population area um, than what I'm seeing. And, and these numbers aren't 100 million percent accurate. Uh, but this is showing you got about 40 searches per month um, between these two keywords. Um, so being in the top spot for both of these, you can count on getting about 12 people per month who are coming to your website looking for your services. Um, but again, I'm confident there's a lot more people than this who are really looking for drywall contractors in your area. Um, and this was just focused on the Cleveland area. Obviously, there's a lot of um, you know outlying towns in, in the Cleveland area. Uh, we could also focus on as well to really drive that traffic towards your website. So looking at Drivewall Cleveland, Ohio, um, this is super what I would call low hanging fruit and that there's just not a lot of competition here um, and you could definitely move into the top spot for this in a relatively short amount of time. Um, so first off what we're looking at is the GMB or three pack Google My Business. There's a lot of different names for it. Um, there's a couple of different factors for how you get your business into this. Uh, one of them is what's called, well, obviously having a GMB. So if you don't have one, that would actually be the very first step. Um, after that is what's known as citations. And citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on the web. Um, some great citation sources you could find would be like Yellow Book or um, the free Yelp pages, even a Facebook page where you list that information. Um, these are all examples of citation sources. The more citations you have, the better your chances are of being in this three pack. Another factor is actually your organic ranking, so where your business sits organically here. Um, and why I would say that this is such low-hanging fruit is that none of these actually have a website associated with them. Um, so by building out that GMB and also having a website attached to that, um, your chances of getting into this are very high. So looking at organic search results, um, I don't include HomeAdvisor in this at all just because Google really prefers to rank um, the local business owners over these large national directory sites. If you're following all the stuff I'm telling you as far as, um, you know, building out your website correctly, uh, making sure you really get some quality content on there that really establishes yourself as the resident expert for the Cleveland, Ohio area um, for drywall, you're going to move ahead home advisor in the long run. So looking at A1 drywall, 
we'll take a look at their website real quick. Um, so looking at their website, it's very basic. Um, they hardly have any content on here. Um, so definitely if you were to get that content on there, I would be confident you guys would pass them up. Um, looking at the back end of their website, there's a couple different things we look at here. Um, the first one is backlinks and then we look at referring domains. And the best way to describe what a backlink is, it's kind of like a high school popularity contest. Um, so you have the most popular kid in school, and we'll call him website A, and he's going to link himself to the least popular kid in school, and we'll call him website B. And by linking himself to that least popular kid, it in turn brings up that popularity of the least popular kid and makes him more popular in Google's eyes um, and brings him up in the search rankings. So the more of these popularity votes you can get from websites, the higher you're going to move up in the rankings. They currently only have three or six referring domains with 20 backlinks, and only three of those are do follow. And that do follow number is important because that means they're actually getting that backlink juice, as we call it, or popularity coming back to their website. So again, it's super low-hanging fruit, not much competition in this area. Uh, I'm confident you guys can move into that top spot in a relatively short amount of time. If you have any questions on this, um, definitely reach out. I'd love to talk to you more.